Hello everybody, welcome back. Unfortunately, I don't have an update on my VRM heat sinks for my Alienware R10 at this time, and it may be another week or two. Now, I was looking into an alternate solution, and honestly, the heat sinks I purchased were a bit too small for my liking. They might have worked, but I think they wouldn't have dissipated heat very well. And the Enforce heat sink, I really don't want to modify it as I'd really like to try building an older machine using some of the old parts I have laying around in the near future. That being said, today I wanted to share the simulation racing rig I built in my garage about two years ago. Yes, this is old footage, but I never shared it today. I built this because I honestly grew tired of using my desk to mount my wheel to, and then during intense braking, hope, hoping that my pedals didn't slide across the floor, having to drag them back and be in the wall at the end of all that. Anyway, this was a fairly cheap project, uh, if you don't include the wheel, but I used about 30 bucks of wood and screws from the hardware store, and the chair was free from work. This will be a time lapse, but at the end I'll be back to talk about some of the modifications and changes I've made over the last two years, and as well do some third person gaming, just so you can see how it works, so stick around. All right, thanks for sticking around. Here you can see the final product of my build. My original plans were to mount a TV or multiple monitors on arms to the rig itself on top of the table in the back there, as you can see, while being next to my desk in the game room. However, plans changed quickly. I ended up buying rubber locking casters to mount to the bottom of the wooden frame. That way I could move my rig from next to my desk to go under it in order to use the three monitors I already had. Originally, they were just sitting on top of the desk, so I had to make a cheap wooden stand to make it fit. But again, that didn't last long either, as I ended up buying some monitor arms to fix that issue. Now, as you see here, it's super easy to move my desk chair out of the way, move my rig in, lock all the casters, you'll hear one. 
then adjust my monitors to get them into place. Yeah, a bit tedious, but again, under five minutes, I really can't complain. Uh, the angles aren't what some prefer. They work great for me, so I'm quite happy with this setup. And finally, to plug it in, I have the power brick hanging off the left post there, so you can just plug in the power, and then on the right, the little USB, and we're good to go for racing. And just to give you a closer look at things, as you can see, it definitely looks a lot different than before. Not just the seat, the wheels move back a little bit, and it's a bit taller. And as well, I put some bracing triangles there <laughs> to help. Yeah, uh, I just found some scrap wood, but onto the game. Now, I won't be saying much the rest of the video, but wanted to say I'm very happy I built this two years ago. My racing skills have improved a lot, and I don't have to go hunting for the pedals after a hard braking situation. And as well, it's super stable, even with the caster wheels on there. The caster wheels have never come unlocked, so it's definitely worth the investment if this is something you go for in the future. If you are in the market for a rig and can't afford one, because I know they are quite expensive for the pre-builds, maybe this will give you some inspiration to build your own. I don't have plans, unfortunately, but I could always draw some up if anyone's interested. Also, if you have any questions or ideas on how I could improve it, paint of course, let me know below. But that's all the talking for me this video. I'm going to leave you here to watch the gameplay and visualize the stability even when I beat on the H-shifter. So I hope everybody has a great day. And take care.